We're going to take the long way to the uh, you know front of the establishment that you're going in. Don't don't really get upset about the front parking spot. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy a little bit of it, right? 70 degrees and sunny, 67 in Tuscaloosa. We're at 66 degrees in Clanton, 65 in Talladega, 68 in Gadsden. The stretch of dry weather will continue. We still have another couple of pretty warm days and dry too. The Visible satellite view. Always love the view from space. When the sun comes up, it illuminates some of those mid to upper level clouds. So just a little bit of cloud formation across portions of the Tennessee Valley and uh, looking at southern Arkansas right now. Our next big weather maker that will be located right now, or at least showing a little bit of uh, increased moisture developing across portions of the Rockies. But the real moisture surge that comes from portions of uh, Canada. Canada A, my friend Linda would say over there. Mm -hmm. This is a good afternoon though, like I mentioned, if you want to sit outside and enjoy a little bit of lunch on the patio, 73 degrees by two o'clock this afternoon. Our average high for this time of year should be about 64 degrees. So we're running about 10 degrees hot here. The temperature though will get up to 73 degrees because the air is so dry. Sunset is at 444, so we will have these shorter days and the sun going down a little bit sooner, but at least you do get that warmer weather. And our weather pattern, everything is moving from west to east. Just looking at the map here, the coloration, the orange and, and the red here across portions of Texas, we are talking about a warming trend, and so everything moving from west to east. Cold air locked up into the Great Lakes. Our cooler, our next big weather maker, we were just zooming into the northern section over by uh, Canada. That's where you'll find the coldest temperatures. So the future cast does show a line of showers and storms approaching as we move into Thursday. That will likely be the day that we'll have rain more often than not. Moving into Thursday, I'd say around three, four o'clock in the morning, it approaches Memphis. And so it's going to move into some really dry air. It may really narrow out and rain chances are not going to be abundant here and it will be followed up by a cold surge. It just will be very dry too. So I don't expect to see a lot of accumulation is what I'm getting at here. The temperatures drop into the 60s overnight tonight. I do think there will be some more humidity in the forecast and it will track everything in real time. That line that we're just forecasting there with our WBTM 13 live Doppler radar as it moves in from the northwest though. The chance for showers is just for Thursday. Breezy and colder high temperatures on uh, football Saturday, right? We have a, a couple more weeks. Rick, how many more weeks left of football? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, three, Ooh, three, I think. Three more weeks. Uh, do I toss to break Patrick? Patrick over